With all these snakes we have found in this area, we know there is plenty of food for a king cobra. With such a promising ecosystem and all these sightings we heard of from the locals, there is no doubt that king cobras must live right here. We just have to be patient and continue our search. In the late afternoon, we start to cruise to some more dirt roads and are reassured that this is the right location. It's our old friend, the Siamese Spitting Cobra. And this one means business. Spitting Cobra again. This one is the Siamese Spitting Cobra. And this one is on to me right now. Look, it's forming a hood and it's, it's spitting. But thankfully I'm wearing these glasses right here. Wow. Now this one right here behaves very differently than, well, than the other one that we saw. This one right here, I cannot handle like a coin snake at all. It was spitting just, again, just about now again. Come here, buddy. Hey. Hey. Look at it. The Siamese spitting cobra. It's the exact same species that I, that I handled before. Just bad at me. Massive amounts of venom. Just dripping down my glasses right now. It's the exact same species that we handled before that I could handle like a coin snake, remember? This one right here, completely different character. I cannot put my hands anywhere near its head. It will bite me so hard and fast. And it's a cobra species. They had really nasty venom. They got the neurotoxic component to its venom, which is likely to be fatal. But they also have cytotoxins. And these are the ones, if they get into your eye, they cause a very big burning sensation. And they can cause really big irritation to your eyes. But it's a myth that they make you go blind. But they might, if you don't wash it out immediately, cause a really bad infection, which can permanently damage your eye. And look at this, do you hear it? You can see the hood that it's forming, and it's very noisy. It's giving me lots of warnings, telling me to stay away from it. And look how defensive it is, right? Snakes are defensive, not aggressive. There's no way I can touch a snake anywhere now without being bitten. But apart from this, it's calm. See, I'm sitting down here. Snake is not coming to me to bite. In fact, check this out. I can even turn around and look this way. See what happens. Is it chasing me? No, right? Snakes are defensive. It's just trying to protect itself. It wants to have absolutely nothing to do with me. It's not a fan of me actually, right? And now check this out. If I come close to it and I do threaten it, what happens? You see, it gives me like a mock strike. It comes up. It makes a lot of noise and that's a warning. It tells me, leave me alone. Let's check it out again. Wow, wow, whoa, ho, ho. Double spitter right in my face and they aim right at the eyes. If there's something black like this or even the two cameras on my phone, snakes instantly think that these are target, these are the eyes and they go straight for them and they move their head in an H-shaped pattern. And the venom are very tiny little particles and they will always come into your eye if you don't protect yourself properly. And they never seem to run out of venom. It sped several times at me, even at David, at the camera, and it never runs out of venom. Their venom yield is immense. What a beautiful cobra. <coughs> Gonna put it back now. I think it had enough of us. And I certainly also have enough venom on my face now from the snake. Siamese Spitting Cobra. One of the most oh, deadly snakes out here in Thailand. And even this would be considered a proper meal for decent sized King Cobra. By spitting, hissing, mock charging and forming a hood, this cobra tries everything it can to warn me. The more I move, and the closer I get to the snake, the more scared it will feel. Most snake bites and fatalities happen when people try to catch or kill these animals. Never do that. If you ever encounter a snake, don't move towards it or threaten it. You must slowly step away from the snake. When you do this, you will never have a snake attack you. And look at my glasses. All of these spots are venom. This venom sort of crystallizes after evaporation and leaves these distinct marks, even on our cameras. 
Isn't it interesting how the snake interpreted the two black cameras on my phone as a set of eyes and aimed right at them? Take me back to the jungle.